if it's clear outside on Wednesday night, December 13, and Thursday morning, December 14, before dawn, be sure to go outdoors. M Central Standard Time, 5.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or 22.30 GMT, on December 13. The Virtual Telescope Project will also host a webcast here showing live views from Italy, starting at 5 p. Sometimes, they're more impressive than the better-known proceeds of August. The meteors will appear to radiate from the constellation Gemini, which is in between the constellations Taurus and Cancer. To find Gemini, look for the bright constellation Orion, easily visible due to the belt of three stars in a row. Gemini is just over Orion's right shoulder. But there's no need to look directly at Gemini to see the meteors. Geminids can appear anywhere in the sky, so the best direction to watch is wherever your sky is darkest, which is probably straight up. You just need some warm clothing and your eyes to see a meteor shower in person. But if you have a small telescope and are watching in the northern hemisphere, you will get an extra treat. You can also spot the object virtually in the next few days. The virtual telescope will host a webcast with live views from Arizona starting at 3 o'clock. M Eastern Standard Time, 0800 GMT, on December 15 and Italy starting December 16 at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 2000 GMT. The Geminids have been known as an annual meteor shower since 1862, but Phaethon wasn't discovered until 1983. Meteor showers like the Geminids occur when the Earth plows into a stream of debris and space left behind by a comet or asteroid. The debris stream's location in space can alter from year to year depending on the influence of Jupiter's gravity, among other factors, which contributes to the intensity of the shower. The light of the moon can wash out fainter meteors. However, this year, the moon is just a waning crescent and will not rise until early in the morning, after 3 o'clock.
Also make sure to dress warmly. Go out late in the evening, lie back in a reclining lawn chair and gaze up into the stars, McRobert said. Be patient.